Hi, my name is Kevin Doyle, Technical Sales Manager for GB for Filio UK and Ireland. Heat stress is an issue in the UK and Ireland, and I think heat stress isn't the most accurate word because it's the, actually the combination of humidity and ambient temperature that mostly contributes to heat stress. We can experience heat stress even in the cooler months of the year, particularly where ventilation and housing is an issue. Heat stress amongst dairy cattle is an increase in their core body temperature above a normal level of 38.8 degrees Celsius, which basically means the energy entering the cow is greater than the energy she can get rid of. Heat stress is measured using an index called the temperature humidity index, which is basically a combination of ambient temperature and relative humidity. Heat stress becomes an issue at a THI of 72. That's a globally recognized figure. However, recent research in the UK has shown that heat stress becomes an issue actually at lower THIs of as low as 62. The impacts of heat stress are reduced milk yield, milk solids or milk constituents, poor of expression of heat, increased lameness, poor immune function, and also poor fertility. Some of the classic signals of heat stress include fresh air seeking behavior. So cows putting their heads over gates, or any other opening in buildings. Cows eating towards the gable ends of the sheds and avoiding the middle of sheds. Another important signal is cows standing. Cows will stand when they are heat stressed to try and increase their surface area and dissipate or get rid of excess heat. Cows do not have many active sweat glands and therefore they have to get rid of excess heat through their breath. Um, this will be seen as hyperventilation or panting. Um, a normal respiration rate is 20 to 40 breaths per minute. Under heat stress conditions, we will see cows taking a breath per second. Another symptom of heat stress is cows drooling, which poses a further risk as cows will lose valuable saliva, which helps to buffer the rumen and keep the pH level up. Heat stress cows will also increase water consumption and will often see more cows gathered around water drinkers. If you think you have heat stress in your herd, there are a number, number of simple things we can do. One of the most important things is to improve ventilation and increase airflow. A simple test we can do is to throw some feed in the air. And what we're looking for is an airflow of one to two meters per second. Some of the simple ways we can improve ventilation include opening up roofs um, and looking at the sides of the buildings and failing this, bringing in mechanical ventilation. Water provision is key to helping reduce the effects of heat stress. Ideally, we'd like to see nine centimeters of trough space per cow with a flow rate of 20 liters per minute. In order to encourage high levels of water intake, it's really important that we make water as palatable as possible. So it's essential to clean water trucks regularly. To counteract lower dry matter intakes, some simple things we can do is to feed later at night when the weather is cooler, to try and keep feed fresh and palatable. Also, we can look at increased push-ups during the day. So we want to see at least five push-ups if possible. For, for grazing cows, as well as providing an adequate supply of water. It's also important to provide shade, um, particularly during the warmer parts of the day from 12 to 3 p.m. For high-performing herds during periods of heat stress, we can look at increasing the energy density of the diet. We can also look at increasing the proportion of bypass nutrients, such as bypass protein and energy, to help counteract the lower dry matter intakes. Other nutritional factors we can look at include replacing lost minerals, such as potassium and sodium. Certain additives such as niacin have been proven to be effective during heat stress as they help the cows to get rid of more heat from their bodies and reduce the negative effect of heat stress at a cellular level. Research has shown that feeding ActiSaf live yeast during heat stress has been proven to have a number of benefits. These include improving rumen function, helping to raise rumen pH and avoid incidence of acidosis. ActiSaf also helps to raise dry matter intakes protect milk yields and milk solids or milk constituents. ActiSaf also helps to improve feed digestion and utilization, protect fertility, and it has also been shown to increase plasma niacin levels in heat stress cows.